Welcome to our lecture online. Let's do a simple example so we can see how that position vector stuff works. So we have two vectors, one defined where the charge is located, one defined where the field is trying to be calculated. We're trying to calculate the strength of the field, for example. And uh, of course, we have R sub C defined as the position vector pointing to the charge, or R sub F as the position vector pointing to the field point. And we noticed that the vector defining the position of the field point relative to the charge can be defined by taking the difference between the two vectors. And then we can, of course, calculate it like this. Now, what happens when they give us the location of the charge in x, y, and z coordinates and the field point location in the x, y, and z coordinates? And they ask us to find the distance between those two points and the unit vector pointing from the charge to the field position. So first, we need to find the r vector. So let's do that. And before we can find the r vector, we probably want to find the position vector to the charge and the position vector to the field. So let's do that. So the position vector to the charge is equal to, and here we have the components, 2, 8, and 7. So that would be 2 in the x direction, plus 8 in the y direction, plus 7 in the z direction. And then we have the position vector to the field point, which is equal to 4 in the x direction, plus 6 in the y direction, plus 8 in the z direction. So now we're going to define the position vector of the field point relative to the charge. So that means that R is equal to, you see that would be R of the field minus R of the charge, which is equal to, it's going to be the difference between the field position and the charge position, which is 4 minus 2 in the x direction, plus, that would be 6 minus 8 in the y direction, plus 8 minus 7 in the z direction. So that means that our position vector from the charge to the field point is going to be 2 in the x direction, minus 2 in the y direction, plus 1 in the z direction. So there's our position vector of the field position relative to the charge position. Now we want to find the magnitude. So the magnitude of that is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the components, which is 2 squared plus a negative 2 squared plus a 1 squared, and so that would be 4 plus 4, that's 8, plus 1 is 9, that's the square root of 9, which is equal to 3. So that means that is the magnitude of the vector from the charge to the field position. So that's the distance between the two points, and now we want to find the unit vector in that direction, so unit vector is going to be equal to the position vector divided by the magnitude of the position vector, which is equal to 2x minus 2y plus 1z, all divided by 3, which means we're going to divide each of the components by 3. So this is equal to 2 thirds in the x direction, minus 2 thirds in the y direction, plus 1 third in the z direction. And there's the unit vector pointing from the charge to the fill point. And of course, since the unit vector needs to be equal to 1, if you square this, and square that, and square that, and then them up together, you of course get the magnitude of 1. And that proves that that at least is the unit vector, and that is how it's done. Can you use x, y, z inside hmm? How can you use x, y, z inside j, k? I interchange because uh, some people like x, y, z better, and some people like i, j, k better, and so I just go back and forth. <laughs>